Usumoto-san, I must say I didn't expect you to invite me here directly. What led you to change your mind? I hope this means I can expect a favorable response. I'm thinking it's time to put an end to this. To what, pray tell? This self-serving black hole of collusion. And how do you plan to do that? By turning myself into the police. <sighs> As you may have suspected, I murdered Shinya Kawai. For what he did to Mitsuru, I did it with my own hands. The same day he was abducted in Kamrucho, five years ago, Kitakata-sensei was my accomplice. If you do that, you'll be branded just another killer. That would be quite a fall from grace, considering just how much you've turned the health ministry around. I'd suggest reconsidering that. We can protect your secret for you. And in exchange, I'll have to do as I'm instructed, correct? As with any organization, our government works within a set of constraints. Everyone has their own opinion of what they believe is best for this country. And only once common ground is established, can progress truly be made. However, you've already forged quite a path of progress on your own. Reforming the health ministry, cracking down on embezzlement and dirty dealings, I promise you. Both myself and many others respect such accomplishments. <sighs> However, if Reiko Kusamoto were to go from vice minister to murderer, all those achievements would go up in smoke. In fact, the fallout could allow for even worse corruption to take root. As I'm sure you agree, to our country's detriment. <sighs> Everyone who lives has their secrets. If you just let us take care of yours, you can have the peace of mind you deserve. They'll stay buried, deep in the dark. And therein lies the problem. Sawa-san was the only classmate who never stopped coming to see Mitsuru. I was the one who drove her away from my son. Even though she was the only person at that school who never gave up on him. I couldn't control my desire for revenge. A good woman lost her life because of that. And now everyone wants to pretend like she never even existed. No better than back then. Mitsuru's classmates pushed him over the edge and didn't look back. I don't care what you say. I'm going to turn myself in. I only regret not doing it sooner. Sawa-san wouldn't have had to die. <laughs> well, it turns out you're more naive than I thought. More so than I could have planned against. You still won. You should consider it a victory that I have to resign from my post. When it comes down to it, I'm sure that was your end goal. But you just got too greedy. You thought putting the squeeze on me would net you 160 trillion yen in pensions? Well, that's all going up in smoke. When I turn myself in, that'll be a lost cause. Now scurry off and inform your handlers. Despite all my efforts, it seems you were more of an immovable object than I was an unstoppable force. Well, <laughs> you can't reason with someone willing to lose, especially if losing means burning it all down. Mitsuru! <laughs> Mitsuru! <laughs> <laughs> 